Following production in Decatur, Alabama, ULA's Vulcan rockets are shipped to launch sites in Florida and California using ULA's specially designed cargo ships. Rocket ship, currently in use, and spaceship, which will soon join ULA's fleet, each span more than 300 feet and carry more than 500,000 pounds. Designed to navigate the open sea or narrow rivers and maneuver in depths as little as eight feet, these are no ordinary cargo ships. Traveling with several professional mariners, this certified crew includes the captain, navigational officers or captain's mates, engineers, an oiler, a bosun, seamen, and stewards, as well as river advisors when traveling through Baton Rouge. Delivering Vulcan to the launch site begins with designing the load plan, which is a blueprint showing how and where rocket components will safely fit in the ship's cargo bay. The load plan includes the lashing plan, detailing how rocket components will be secured during transportation to prevent shifting or tipping in rough waters. With the load plan approved, ULA's Decatur technicians transport hardware to the dock, then load and secure each rocket component in the ship's cargo bay. Once fully loaded, the crew prepares for their departure. Casting off from Alabama on the Tennessee River, about 556 feet above sea level, the crew navigates through numerous locks and dams as they pass through Tennessee and the Tennessee Wiggles. To accommodate for weight imbalances in the cargo bay, the chief mate is responsible for ballasting the vessel, which requires pumping water in and out of the ship's ballast tanks to maintain the stability of the ship. Entering into Kentucky, the ship merges onto the Ohio River, followed by a turn south, all the way down the Mississippi River. Passing through Baton Rouge, then New Orleans, the ship nearly reaches sea level. At the Gulf, the route varies depending on the destination. For shipments to Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida, which takes approximately eight to 10 days, the route continues southeast across the Gulf around Dry Tortugas, the most southern point in the U.S. After following the Florida Keys into the Atlantic, the ship arrives in Port Canaveral. For shipments to Vandenberg Space Force Base, the route continues southeast crossing through the Gulf and into the Caribbean Sea. After passing through the Panama Canal, the crew enters the Pacific Ocean for around 12 days and arrives to the dock at Vandenberg after approximately 21 days of travel. At either destination, the flight hardware is then unloaded and transported for stacking and launch. <laughs>